Hello, welcome to this video. It's Lena Tia from DetailLena.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to sell Bitcoin directly to your bank account in Nigeria, all right? So if you're in Nigeria and you're making some crypto and you're looking for a way to actually sell that crypto or convert it to your bank account directly, then I'm going to walk you step by step on how to do that using the Binance app, all right? So I'm going to demonstrate all of this on the app so that majority of you will be able to follow me okay so if you don't have a binance account already link will be in the video description to actually download binance account and sign up for an account okay sign up get the account verified and you are good to go all right and if you are new to the channel you love videos about making money online about crypto trade investing you want to learn more about binance then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and if you want to join my community by joining our zoom meeting link to join the telegram group will equally be in the video description um so as i said Ella, if you don't have a binance account download one um, the link is in the video description so what i'm going to show you in this video what i'm going to share with you in this video is a step-by-step -step guide all right so just follow the steps um, i'll show you from the beginning to the end how to add payment method how to transfer your phones, how to sell, how to approve, all of that I will share with you in this video. So make sure you pay attention, all right? So the first thing we want to do, okay, um, is if you just sign up for Binance, okay, and um, you want to, you've downloaded the app already, your app interface won't be looking like mine, okay? As you can see here, it will not be looking like this. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you click on this icon here, all right? That is your profile icon click on it once you click on it it brings you here when, once you are here by default you are using binance slide when you download if you are if you just downloaded the app okay yours will be uh, this will be checked on all right so make sure that you toggle it off once you toggle it off it will switch to you from binance slide to binance pro okay so once you have switched to binance pro you will have an interface like the one i have here all right so with an interface like this you should be able to follow up okay so after you've switched your binance application to the binance pro the next thing you want to do is to transfer funds because by default all of the funds you have on your binance account will be in your spot wallet all right so we want to transfer funds from our spot wallet to our funding wallet because it is from that funding wallet that we can now sell directly to our bank account all right so to do that i'll need to come in here to where it says wallet okay so i'll click on wallet here once I click on wallet, it brings us here, all right? So at the top here, you see that we have an overview, we have sport wallet, we have funding, we have margin, we have features, and it goes on. So we want to transfer funds from the sport wallet to the funding wallet, all right? To do that, we are going to use this option that says transfer, all right? Um, if you click on wallet, you will be on the overview tab, all right? Once you are on the overview tab, you can come in here and click on sport or click on sport at the top here all right to be able to see the transfer option so i'll click on spot and we are here now on the spot option we want to click on transfer all right because we are transferring funds from our spot wallet to our funding wallet so i'll click on transfer and this dialog box pops up so we are transferring as you can see here from spot to funding wallet and what do we want to transfer if it is bitcoin go ahead and transfer whatever asset you want to trade go ahead and transfer that what i want to trade um, I want to actually go ahead and and transfer USDT. So I'll click on this Bitcoin option and select USDT. If you don't see USDT, yeah, just go ahead and type USDT and it will pop up. Okay, select it. All right. So we are transferring USDT, right, from our spot wallet to our funding wallet. So how much do we want to transfer? We'll go ahead and put in the amount. If you want to transfer everything, just click on max. All right. So I'll go ahead and put in, let's say I want to transfer 100 USDT, I'll go ahead and put in 100 USDT and then I'll click on confirm transfer and it has been transferred successfully, all right? So now that we have transferred funds from our spot wallet to our funding wallet, the next thing is to sell it to our bank account. And how do we do that? Um, to access the P2P trading platform on Binance, okay? We can either click on trees here, yeah, where is it trees, okay? We can either click on trees or we come back to the home page and click on p2p trading all right so if you have switched it already this is a shortcut so i'll just use this shortcut here to actually demonstrate that 
now if i go ahead and click on this p2p trading it will take us to the p2p trading interface so i just click on it and this is the interface it will bring us to so once we are on the p2p interface the next thing we want to do is to add our payment method our bank account details all right so we are going to click on where it says profile once we are on the profile page here all right so the next thing we want to do is to click on where it says payment method all right so go ahead and click on that to add your bank account details so here we have not added any payment method i'm going to use the yellow bar here that says add the payment method so i'll go ahead and click on it and we are going to add bank transfer because that's the only payment method we have so we'll go ahead and select bank transfer and here automatically it will generate because your binance account is verified it will generate your name from your account automatic so you cannot input this name meaning that if you are going to add a bank account of someone else it won't work so the bank account details must tally with the name that you have on your binance account all right um, that is why you need to verify your Binance account before you can actually do this, okay? So, um, after that, the next thing is the bank account number. So, I'll go ahead and put in my bank account number here, all right? So, once I put in my bank account number, what is the bank name? Go ahead and type in the bank name here. Mine is UBA, okay? So, I'll type UBA. Once you have added this detail, the next thing here they are asking is for the um, bank account opening branch. It is optional if you want, you can add it, but it's not necessary, okay? So after that, we go ahead and click on confirm, all right? So make sure you add your details here correctly. Go ahead and click on confirm because this is where the account number will be transferred to. Now, they are asking for authenticator code because I have it set up. I'll go ahead and get the authenticator code for Binance. So I just copy the authenticator code. I just go ahead and click on paste and then click on submit. All right. So submit successfully added. All right. And then I receive an SMS as well that my bank account detail has been added to my Binance account successfully. So now that we have added um, uh, our bank account successfully to our, our P2P account, okay, to our Binance app, the next thing we want to do here is if we come in here, okay, on the... Um, the Binance P2P interface, we have buy and then we have sell, okay? The buy is for those who want to buy crypto with their Naira, okay? But this time around, we are going to sell our, our crypto asset to um, Naira. So make sure that you click on the sell tab here, all right? Then the next thing I want you to take note of is that we can sell USDT, we can sell BTC, we can sell BUSD, we can sell BNB, Ethereum, and so on. So we can sell any of these tokens directly to our bank account, okay? So that is what we are going to do. In this case, if it is Bitcoin you have, all right? If it is Bitcoin you have, make sure that you select the BTC tab, all right? And then if I select BTC tab, you will see the different offers people are ready to buy from you. So you can sell your crypto asset to any of these persons. And you see here on the BTC, this person is ready to buy from 4 million up to 50 million, from 2 million up to 50 million. All right, so those are some of the things you need to look at. Okay, from 1 million, the more I scroll down, this person is from 500,000, and then this person is from 1 million, this 2 million. So you scroll down and look for any offer that best suits you, then you can go ahead and sell to that person. Now, on the P2P trading interface, there is what that um, um, is called Binance Escrow. Okay, the escrow means that this person cannot cheat. You want to transfer your money to your account. It means that this person actually have crypto worth this 1.5 million or 50 million era. So if you want to buy 50 million era worth of crypto, Binance will automatically seize that crypto worth 50 million era, okay, um, in their escrow. And then whenever you make the money, or you make the transfer and prove that you've transferred the money, um, the person will go ahead and approve it from his And if the person doesn't approve it, if you um, actually chat up Binance, that will you know fund your account with that so you don't have anything to fear here all right so it is binance who is doing this on your behalf so you don't have anything to fear in as much as you follow the instruction right okay all right so if you want to sell bitcoin you go ahead but remember we transferred usdt so i will come back and select the usdt option and then use this to demonstrate it okay the same way i do with usdt the same thing you would do with bitcoin uh, BUSD or BNB or whatever you want to sell on the P2P interface, all right? So all of these options here, all of the limit sales here are too high for us, okay? So we can't sell to these people. And the more I scroll down, the more the price keep reducing, all right? Um, until I see who I want to sell to from 600,000, this person is from 300,000, and it goes on. 
and so on. So the more I scroll down, the more the offers become lesser for us. Okay, if you click on this P2P option at the top, if I click on it, you see that we have P2P, we have Express, and then we have Blog Mode. So for the block trader, these are people who are selling anything from you know 100 million, 200 million, 50 million, and above. There are those who want to transact, you know, if you have up to 100 million in your account, just go to Block Trader and then you see a, um, a, a, a mission that you can sell your crypto to immediately. All right. Then we have the Express mode. Now, the one we were looking, we were using initially is the P2P option. All right. And you see that when we use this, I was searching for, I couldn't see anybody I can sell to right here. All right. So if I click on the P2P option again, I want to go and use the Express mode. All right. What the Express mode simply does is that Binance automatically links you. Okay, if you want to sell crypto worth five thousand naira, um, ten thousand naira, twenty thousand naira, whatever it is, using the Express mode means that Binance will automatically link you up with the next available trader that will meet up with that um, amount. Okay, that has that limit that you want to sell, and the person can go ahead and do the transfer. Once you receive the transfer, you go ahead and confirm. All right. So go ahead and use the Express mode and. Um, here on the express mode, I'm going to put in the, I'm going to see it. Now when I click on the express mode, it automatically select the buy, okay? So we're going to select the sell option, all right? So select sell, and then we want to sell USDT. You have the option to sell USDT, BTC, or BUSD, okay? But I'm going to sell USDT because it is USDT we transfer. So here, I'll go ahead and sell USDT. I'll just click on max, okay? And it will select. Um, if you don't have your phones here, you can click on transfer here again and you still, it, it still takes you back to you. the first option I showed you on how to transfer. If I click on transfer here, all right, so we can still transfer from spot to our funding wallet, all right? So now that I have phones on my funding wallet already, if I go ahead and click on max, this is what I want to sell, all right? So once I click on it, I'll go ahead and click on sell with zero fee. So I'll go ahead and click on that sell option. Automatically, Binance will um source for the person that is going to transfer this for us okay and then here it says we are going to select payment method which is bank transfer okay and um this is calculated by 590 590 37 Kobo. that is what we are going to sell okay if you do not if you have not already added your payment method as i showed initially you have the option to add that payment method here okay you just click here or if you want to use a different payment method let's say you have one already and you want to use a different payment method you can go ahead and add the payment method okay um we'll just select the payment method we added here already if you have more than two just select the appropriate one where you want the money to go and then i'll go ahead and click on confirm sale so once i confirm sale binance will automatically source okay you see that it has paid us with the person that is going to make the payment already and the name of the person the buyer's name is this okay and um, this person is going to make a transfer of this money here to our account so a few things i want you to note here okay we have a timer here that is counting down this is the time that the person is going to use to make that payment and once the person makes the payment this key here okay this button here will be active uh, where it says payment so once the person the person on his own end Binance has already prompted the person. So the person will make the payment. After the person has successfully made the payment, the person will now let Binance know that he or she has made payment. All right? And then we'll now have this active. Once this is active, then we can go ahead. If we receive the payment, once we get the alert, we go ahead and click on um, payment receive. All right? And the funds will be transferred from our own account to the person's account. And, you know, that is it. It's as simple as that. All right. Here, I can equally chat up the person. Okay. So here, where it says chat, I can chat up this person. All right. If I want to chat that, I just go ahead and click on it. All right. The person has um, his or her own instructions there. Make sure you look at the instructions if you want, most especially when you are buying. So I'll come in here and type in, uh, let me just... So let's say I just type hi, okay? Once I type hi, I'll go ahead and send that. Um, I can say, are you available? So I just send the person a message. I say, hi, are you available? Um, if the person is available, if the person is online, I believe Binance has already notified this person, okay? The person will let me know. Or I can equally call the person, 
okay by just clicking on this icon at the top right hand side okay I can click on that and it will bring up the person's phone number. If I click on it, it will pull out the first person's phone number and I can go ahead and call the person if I want, all right? But since Binance linked me up with the person, I just have sent a chat, I believe um, the person will be notified. This person has 30 minutes, okay, to make this payment, all right? So the time is still counting. Um, I'm supposed to receive this, this payment, all right? If this time counts down and the person doesn't make the transfer, it means that the payment will automatically be canceled. And then I can go ahead and you know initiate another trade. But let's just see what happens, okay? I'll just wait for the person to make the payment and then we'll proceed with it. All right. Now, what I was explaining about the Binance um, escrow service is that now that I've initiated this trade, my hundred USDT has been you know taken by Binance. All right. So Binance is going to take hold of that USDT right, right now. You see, okay, the person says, All right. The person has actually confirmed from his or her end that payment has been made and you see that the button is non-active, all right? So right now, I can't go ahead and click on that button because I have not received the alert yet. So I'm waiting for the alert. Once I receive the alert, I'll go ahead and confirm the payment, all right? So this person has made payment and it's just left for me. Binance notified me via SMS as well that payment has been made. And if I come in here and click on the chat, this chat icon here, okay? If I click on it again. So once I click on it, you see this is from Binance that uh, um, this person calling is uh, Ike Chubu has actually marked that he had made payment. So I'm still waiting. I'm going to wait to confirm this exact amount, okay? Making sure that this person sends this amount to our bank account. And then we can go ahead and click on payment received, all right? But for now, we we'll just wait. All right. So I was actually explaining the Binance escrow service. What it means is that right now Binance is in hold position. Okay, through the escrow service, they're in position of my hundred USDT. All right. If this person provides evidence that he has made this transfer and I've not received it yet, the person will still get um, the money. All right. And if you are going to buy, the same thing applies. All right. Except otherwise, because. Um, you can't cheat Binance, neither will you cheat the person you're buying from because they're doing all of this on the Binance platform. All right, so I'll just go ahead and confirm. Let me just check my app. Okay, if I've received this payment, check my details because in most cases, the SMS will delay. Getting, you know, SMS notification about payment will always delay. So I'll check my app, mobile application, I'll check my balance and make sure that I receive this payment. If I receive this payment, then I'll come here and confirm this. All right. So while I was trying to confirm the payment from my app, I just received the alert. You see the, the alert is about 59, okay, um, 30, 30, 37 Kobo. So we just received the payment, which is the exact amount that we were expecting here, all right? That is the exact amount we are expecting. So yes, we have received the payment. It has been credited to our bank account. I can now go ahead and click on where it says um, payment received. Okay, this one, just go ahead and click on the yellow button where it says payment received, all right? So I'll just click on it. And here, Binance, we equally want to emphasize if you have really received the payment. So yes, um, you go ahead and click on I have received, okay? If you have not received it, you go ahead and do this. If you have received it, go ahead and click the right option. So I have received the correct payment, all right? So I've received the correct payment amount and confirmed to release my crypto. So it's only when you confirm this that Binance can release the crypto. So they cannot just release your crypto when you don't confirm that you have received the payment. And you, on your own part, be sincere. Because before you get to this extent, it means that you have that worth of crypto in your, in, your, in your account. If you go ahead and say you've not received the payment and, you know, the person has every evidence to prove that he made that payment, he or she made that payment, Binance will still send your money to the person, all right? So don't be smarter than the system, all right? Okay, so we have received, I just go ahead and click on confirm, and we are going to paste our authenticator code again. So let me bring that out. So I'll copy the authenticator code, paste it, and then click on submit. And that is it, okay? It is as simple as that, all right? We have successfully sold this amount of money to our bank account already. This is the money we have in our crypto wallet, 
all right so if you're out there you don't have a binance account the easiest way to start transaction to start transacting from your local currency to crypto and from crypto to your local currency is to have a binance account all right go ahead and get a binance account for yourself and follow the steps that i've showed you in this video and i believe you will be able to start selling your crypto to your bank account directly that is it for this video once again if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and if you do have any difficulties leave a comment below and i will attend to that as soon as i can all right if you want to learn more about crypto about binance then join my telegram group and i'll see you guys in the next video